my precious welcome 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 i am galad royal an intuitive tarot reader clairsentient and clairvoyant welcome to the tarot of galad royal my darlings today's theme is a lucrative offer from cosmos so let's unlock this offer we will have three piles as you can see we have three objects on the table so I will form piles, I will set the protection with the Palo Santo. If you want to skip the steps, you can go straight to the timestamps provided within the description box below. And if you want to stay with me, you are very welcome within the space. So let us start. I call upon my guides, your guides, my high self, your high self, our spirit teams, our guardian angels, for the protection, love, grace, clarity, compassion, wealth health, abundance, and prosperity. Thank you, thank you, thank you all. All right, let us start. So we will have, we will have three piles, right? We will have Rose Quartz, Agat, and Amethyst. So we will have four cards within each pile, four cards for each pile. And guys, I am using new deck. I'm so excited. So I had no plans on doing this reading today, tonight, but with this new Dex energy, I want to do something very short, very sweet for you and for me as well. Let's see. So four cards. All right. Offer. The offer from the universe. And we have a little bit of ash right here. So, let's see, let's do the Agat right in the middle, Amethyst and the Rose Quartz Heart. So, we are ready to proceed. Let me show you your crystals. So, my darlings, pile one, you have Rose Quartz Heart for your option. Pile one, Rose Quartz Heart. Pile two, you have a god. And pile three, you have amethyst. Crystal. So make your choice and I will proceed. Let me start with the heart. My precious, welcome, welcome, welcome. If your choice is this gorgeous heart, welcome. This is your reading. And our theme is a lucrative offer from the cosmos. Let's see what you got here. So you have four cards, right? And let me choose for you, Lenormand that I will unlock at the very end and we will see how it all would be connected together. Lenormand right here would be waiting for you to unlock it. So we have four cards for now. We have Page of Swords, the Hierophant, Queen of Cups, and we have the Knight of Cups. Feels like you guys are receiving an offer of love. We have Knight of Cups and the Queen of Cups. There is a person who is seeing you as the Queen of Cups. You could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You don't have to be. I feel there is a person who has feelings for you. Page of Swords tells us that this person is watching you. This person is following you on social media. This person is communicating with you with the hair fund energy. I feel this person wants to pursue you in a very traditional manner. This is someone who respects you. With a hierophant energy, I feel this might be an old-fashioned person, a person who follows a specific tradition, a specific ritual, a specific way of being. Maybe it's connected to their spirituality, maybe it's connected to their culture, to their religious beliefs. Or maybe it's connected just to their own set of morals, principles, and so on and so forth. So there is a person who has tremendous respect for you, who appreciates you, 
who has feelings for you. And this person wants to extend an offer of love, right? With a page of swords, it feels like this person knows you quite well. This person was watching you, was studying you, was gathering information about you through communication, Right, through communication, it feels like you talk to this person. There is ongoing communication with this very person. As well, I feel they made a wish. They made a wish to be with you or to meet someone just like you because of this um, dandelion right here. Uh, there, is, um, there is a ritual, right, to make something happen, one needs to blow out all of this dandelion's petals for a wish to come true and feels like you have been this wish for this very person or someone like you if they met you just recently, right? As well, with this books right here, with the page of swords and with the hair fund energy, I feel you might share something with this person interests, hobbies, maybe um, you work within the same field, maybe educational background is quite similar or your thought process is similar. You might have Mercury placed within the same position. I feel for some of you this might be an air sign position. So with the Queen of Cups, when I look at this very Queen of Cups, I think about the Venus return. Do you remember the famous art piece? The famous art piece of a beautiful Venus or Aphrodite standing right in the middle of, of the shell. Of the shell. So it feels like it's connected not only to the appreciation and love for you, beginning of love, there is something about strong attraction to you, intimate one, carnal one, physical one, right? Because uh, look, when I look at this depiction, I remember the myth, how the Aphrodite or Venus uh, was born, Right? There's something about genitals um, and throwing it into the sea. And out of that, uh, this goddess was created. Right? It feels like when they look at you, something is happening. Some process, some chemical process within them. Some chemical process. Okay, maybe I don't need to go this deep. Right? But feels like uh, you are that type. The way you are, the way you look, the way you talk, the way you move. They love everything about you. Everything. And there's some very interesting chemical reaction that's happening when they are around you or when they see you or when they yeah, see you, when they converse with you. Um, unexplainable at times. And I feel this person was very careful about this whole situation, this whole reaction. So this person took the time to study their feelings, their thoughts, their emotions, whole situation, you as well. They took their time with this book's energy to understand this reaction, to avoid toxic outcome or toxic situation because sometimes, sometimes the intensity of attraction talks about underlying toxicity or, you know, like honey trap or something like that. So this person was very careful about this whole situation. Look, with the Knight of Cups and this Knight, and we have beautiful woman sitting on top of this beautiful flower, the lotus flower. She's playing the heart. She's quite literally playing the heart. You see the picture, the depiction of this whole situation. You touch some, some strings within this person's heart through your creativity. Because with this music, with this play, I feel that you are quite creative person. You might be in some way in the public eye. Because with the sparkles, I feel the star's guard energy. You have the quality of a star. You have this energy. You have creativity within. You express yourself creatively. You're a very unique person, right? And with the flower, 
this is your energy of femininity. I feel uh, you are blossoming. You are at your prime with this flower that is blossoming. I'm picking up on the past. Look, for the lotus to reach the surface, it must go through layers of dirt and water and it's muddy and it's dark and it's difficult and it's dense. So feels like you have been going through something. Maybe it was dark night of the soul or some transformation. And this is why we have the lotus, which represents a reward. Your beauty, your glow up, your success, your talent that you are showing now freely, openly. So all that is quite mesmerizing. It's very, very attractive for people around you. And feels like you are attracting this very person, right? Your offer is a love offer from, from someone who is connected to you, right? And most likely you are in some sort of um, conversation with them, ongoing conversation with them. So let's unlock your Lenormand card. And we have the letter. <laughs> wow. Look, I just love to tie it last cards to our readings because it always matches the energy look we have uh, the letter this person will send you a letter an offer of love so within this letter they will express their feelings if in the past they have been communicating with you about um, general matters maybe they have been contacting you about your work, their work, about something that you do creatively, or they maybe maybe they shared some opinions and so on and so forth. Within this upcoming letter, they will express their feelings, the way they feel about you, what they want. They will share their, you know, their heart feelings. They will open their heart. I feel very sincere, authentic, real, heartwarming open kind letter you will like this and for some of you they might send it in this very form in a handwritten form and they might even seal it so again this person is old-fashioned traditional and i feel they have this interesting style in courting in in courting process they court in a very old-fashioned manner with such letters with thoughtful uh, dates they think about upcoming experiences they they're very thoughtful about such things right so they would send gifts flowers and all, all that beautiful stuff i feel from this very person this is someone who is romantic romantic yes and the dating period would be wonderful filled with romance filled with wonderful experiences wow guys this is so open open emotionally open um a person that i feel i haven't felt this way for a real long time i feel just you know the stream of love and very soon you will tap onto that so 27 as a um as a sneak peek into the future this might be the date when they will reach out with this offer and seven of cups I feel cops energy with this heart. Things will get much clearer. You will understand the situation fully, right? And I feel you, you would get excited. For many of you, I feel it's quite an interesting offer. The person is quite interesting. I feel you like each other. And for now, maybe things are a little bit confusing or unclear. And within a week, Within a week, you will receive this communication. Within a week. No matter when you watch it, I feel a week is a time, is your time to receive this letter, this offer. All right, my darlings, if you like this reading, please do consider to hit the like button, to share. Maybe someone will benefit with this message. To subscribe, you're very welcome within the space and to hit the bell button so you will not lose me on your feed let us claim the energy of this uh, reading with a letter emoji in the comments 
or right to claim the medicine and energy and positivity of this reading. My darlings, if you are interested in private guidance, I do have all the info provided within the description box below. You're very welcome to take a look. As well, you can find their private readings, feedbacks, testimonials. And if you are interested in love readings, love pick a cards, I have my first channel dedicated to those themes. Link would be within the description box below. As well, I will link decks I used today within the description. My darlings, this is all that I have for you. I'm so happy you got this offer. It's so wonderful. Um, energy is very beautiful, guys. Energy is so positive. It's so, it's so soft. It's so tender. It's so gentle. You would love this. You would love this, all right? Maybe this is your wish as well. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments if you recognize this person, if you are, are open to this offer, to this unfolding, right? And so on and so forth. Would love to, to know about that. So, my darlings, I'm so happy that you got this reading. May you always be blessed. I do send you lots of love. Thank you for being with me. Bye. My precious, welcome, welcome, welcome. If your choice is the Sagat, welcome. This is your reading. Our theme is your next offer from Cosmos. So let's see what is this offer. Let's see. So guys, you got four cards right here. And let me choose for you the Lenormand card that we will unlock at the very end. And we will see how it fits all together, how it connects. All together so you got four cards for your offer we have seven of cups six of cups six of pentacles and ace of wands all right look we have six of pentacles and six of cups right in the middle it feels like balance it feels like harmony to me it feels like grounding as well even though we have the cups energy it feels like something is getting stable within your life and that is creating an opportunity to start something new with this Ace of, of Wands. Seven of Cups feels like the past. Things have been confusing, unclear. So you have been in a state of uncertainty. You had a goal, but you couldn't understand or you couldn't see that it would happen. So it was kind of like 50-50 chance that something will come through. And I feel what's coming next for you. You are receiving this offer. You are receiving this opportunity. And because of this offer or opportunity, you are unlocking the path towards some new start for yourself. Ace of Wands feels like new creative pursuit, new creative project. Maybe it's a new place to live, new place to work a new collaboration, a new business idea, a new startup. So you will open this door for yourself because something would get stabilized within your life. And I feel that for some of you, the stability or this balance will come from family members or someone who is very close to you. Maybe a friend that is like a family member because we have the Six of Cups, this is the symbol for childhood, childhood memories, siblings, children in general, past. So you have someone around you or you will have in the near future um, and someone from the past. You had some connection, some history with them, right? From the past, past history, past connection, maybe present connection as well. So this might be sibling, again, family member, a friend. And Six of Pentacles feels like giving and receiving. So both of you will do something together and that will create stability within your life. Let's say you will, um, you will partner up with this person or with these people and you will invest into something, right? 
So this something or this change will give you an opportunity to start something new. Let me give you a very rough example. Let's say you and and let's say your uh, parents are are um, putting your money into a purchase of a property, right? And this new property will give a new start for something, for something, right? Because look, within this purchase, you will experience relocation, new environment, and now there is a chance that within this new environment, you will have new opportunities for yourself to meet new people, right, to apply to new jobs, to have new environment uh, of people around, and so on and so forth. You see, it's just an example. But with the Six of Cups and the Six of Pentacles, feels like equal investment, giving and receiving. And this is why we have the balance. It's like uh, two sides are helping each other in a balanced way. It's an equal partnership. So to create some change within this confusing or unclear situation. So to step away from this confusion and lack of certainty. To create some balance, right? Balance, stability due to this equal partnership. So it will give birth to a new opportunity. But I feel strongly... Other people are involved, and I strongly feel those people are either family members or someone you you know since your childhood. People that are like family, friends, very, very, you know, good friends, close to your friends. So you are investing into something, and this new opportunity is being born through this partnership, through this collaboration of some sort, right? Away from this uncertainty, confusion, and lack of stability, right? So let's see what is within the Lenormand. Good luck. And, that, and Six of Pentacles, you see, guys? Perfect, perfect confirmation that within this collaboration and we do have number two which is the balance and equality as well and partnership alliance energy with and six of pentacles again balance equality partnership so within this collaboration within this collaboration a luck would be born ace of wands ace of wands something would get reignited Maybe something old will get reignited because you will serve this wave of, of change, of positive change, right? Good luck. I feel good luck. You will open the door to good luck. Ace of Wands and this good luck means a new growth of something absolutely fresh, like new position, new connection, new relationship, even a new business, or a rebirth, rebirth or recognition of something that was not moving anywhere, like an old business, even a connection, right? Or an idea that was waiting for the right energy. You see? So it's not that... Within this collaboration, you will generate money. But for some, this might be the case. I feel it's more about the energy. This balance and harmony that would be established, established through this collaboration or union or alliance. So it will stabilize something within the environment. Stabilize. And that is what is needed for this new start to occur within your life you see the book would be open and the blossoming we have good luck and the blossoming something that was closed for you in the past would be opened through this situation and that is your offer because what's in the middle you know about that by the way let me know in the comments if this is the case and now it's a great time to hit the like button to claim 
the cosmic offer of good luck and prosperity and blossoming, all right? Because this inside situation you know about, you do know about this. And let me know what that is, right? But you don't know about this cosmic offer that is yet to come as a result of this balance and harmony. Wow, guys. Good luck. Good luck is your offer from Cosmos after this step. And I feel it's already in motion. It's already in motion. All right, my darlings, let's claim the energy of this positive reading with a good luck emoji. Claim it, claim it, claim it. I'm so happy that you got this reading. I'm so happy that you got this offer. Oh, yeah. I, I love this for you. May you always be blessed. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Okay, guys. So let us hit the like button if you like this reading, of course. Uh, don't forget about bell button so you will not lose me on your feed. I consider to share. Maybe someone will benefit from this reading. And consider to subscribe. You are very welcome within the space. Within this place. The luck emoji. The good luck emoji. The good luck leaf. Green leaf. Uh, in the comments is for the claiming the energy of this reading, all right? And my darlings, if you are interested in private guidance, you can find all the info within the description box below. would love to read for you. I'm open for bookings as well. You can find their private readings, testimonials um, and feedbacks. And my darlings, if you are interested in love readings, I do have my first channel dedicated to those themes. Link would be within the description box below. Well, this is all that I have for you. I will link these decks in the description as well for you if you are interested in decks I used today. So this is all that I have for you. I'm so happy for your good luck. May you always be blessed. Thank you for being with me. I do send you lots of love. Bye. My precious, welcome, welcome, welcome. If your choice is the Amethyst, welcome. This is your reading and our theme is your next cosmic offer. Let's see what is your cosmic offer. So these are your tarot cards and let me choose for you the Lenormand card that we will unlock at the very end. And we will see how it will fit into our message. All right, so this is your Lenormand card. Let's see what we have for you right here. We have Ten of Cups, Knight of Wands, the Empress and the King of Pentacles. Are you kidding me, guys? All three piles are so amazing today. And you can see how I, you know, was, was preparing piles at the very beginning of the reading. Okay, so guys. We have Ten of Cups, Knight of Wands, the Empress, and the King of Pentacles. I, I'm just speechless, guys. I'm just speechless. Ten of Cups, you kidding me? The Empress, the King of Pentacles? Wow. So you are the pile that is about to get something wonderful, something big, something huge. It's not just cosmic offer. You are about to receive many, many, many gifts, blessings, miracles, offers from many people within different areas of your life. So we have love right here that is taking care of your love life, right? Look, if you had some problems with your partner, those problems would be removed because we do have the rainbow, which is the sign of successful outcome, right? As well as it's a sign for a successful alchemy. Because when a, a liquid alchemy is finished, it's usually finished with an oily rainbow colored film 
on top of the liquid when the physical alchemy is finished. So, and that is why rainbows and peacocks are symbols for successful alchemy. So, if it's connection that was a little bit challenging. So, it feels like you are stepping onto the path of reconciliation, reunion, and forgiveness, and peace, and harmony, and love, right? So, problems are being removed, and so on and so forth. If you don't have anyone around you, it feels like... You are about to meet someone who will stay with you for quite some time. Ten of Cups might be the sign for a future life partner, um, a future life partner, a divine counterpart. And the Empress is a sign for, yes, success within that connection, right? Longevity of this connection. Longevity. So basically, your love life is being taken care of. Doesn't matter if you are in a connection or not. For all of you, there would be a shift, positive shift. So for those of you who is pursuing some creative dream, some creative goal, feels like you are achieving the success. Look, with the Knight of Wands, we have a last hoop that you are jumping through. You see, we have the hoop that is on fire. I feel it's the last test. The last test. So you passed it and you showed that, yes, you won it. You won it, right? You won it, you haven't given up. You persevered. You stayed committed. You stayed consistent. And you always had hope and knowledge within that something's supposed to happen. And there was, I feel, the last obstacle. And you are jumping through this last obstacle without being burned and straight into the Empress state, which is the success and blossoming and abundance. And we have the King of Pentacles as a result of that which is your financial independence and financial security and prosperity. Look, as well for some of you, this last hoop was related to your family situation. Maybe it's not a relationship. Maybe it's a nuclear family situation with your parents or siblings. And you made the right decision recently. Or you responded differently, not reacted. Responded differently, right? And you stayed in alignment with who you are with the Empress, which is a being worthy of love and respect. So you stayed in alignment with who you are and you are receiving that, unlocking that for yourself through your career or through some business opportunity or some, some business growth. So there was a last hoop for you, I feel. Last hoop. And that was the barrier that was keeping people who doesn't want to do the job or who doesn't want this very outcome strong enough away from it, away from receiving it, right? But you never, you never stepped away from this dream. You followed your heart, you followed your North Star. In many ways, maybe it was a self-mastery process, transformation, maybe it was some growth, maybe it was some relocation, difficult, uncomfortable conversations with people, especially with his family members, if you needed to shift something right there. So it feels like, yes, there was some last hoop and you jumped through that successfully. Successfully. And this is why you proved that you want your dream strong enough to have it and you are strong enough to receive it and hold it and expand it. I shared post within the community section recently and it was about, about this very situation. Let me remember that. I might, you know, I might 
not remember the exact wording, but it was something like, sometimes it rains not to make us wet, but to, to see if we are worthy of a rain or something like that. <laughs> Maybe, you know, my recollection is not correct, but the theme is, um, yeah, the theme is is um, about this uh, last test, so to say, or maybe series of tests that you went through. So basically, you showed that you are worthy of a reign and you are receiving your crown. The Empress is the, the reign within the physical, reign over the matter, King of Pentacles. And within this king, we have a woman. This is you. I feel I'm talking to feminines mostly. You see the rain over the matter. You are not high priestess. You are not receiving the high priestess. Another, you know, feminine archetype of strength and power within the major arcana. You are the empress to reign the matter. Because empress, she is a mother, right? She is a creator. She is... Uh, Yes, uh, the highest of the queens. The high priestess, she reigns within the subconsciousness, within the, you know, within the unseen. But you received the empress energy. So it means that, yes, the high priestess period is over and feels like you have been as a high priestess while going through all those challenges. Hoops, jumping through the hoops, right? High Priestess path is many times solitary. We are isolated. We are in solitude, working through subconsciousness, working through archetypes, working through uh, vibrations and so on and so forth. And here you are stepping out of that, receiving the crown because now you show yourself your higher self, because this is all you're doing. You showed that you're worthy of a reign. And here you are receiving your crown, receiving your power to reign over the matter with the king of pentacles. To reign over the matter. And you're receiving your coin. Wow. Let's unlock your Hormon card. Yes. Queen of cups. We have nine, which is the wish come true, wish fulfillment. You guys are receiving it all. As well, you are receiving, I feel, some offer from this very person that I was talking about in the very beginning. If you are in a relationship with someone and there was a conflict, you are receiving an apology. An apology, an invitation, and gift as well. And for others, you are about to meet your, your divine counterpart. And that is another sign for your power over matter. It's like now you have strength and power to, to reign through connections, so to say, if you understand me, right? To be a strong partner to another sovereign. This is so powerful, guys. This is so powerful. Your wish is coming through. I feel emotional satisfaction. I feel absolute emotional fulfillment because everything is coming together. Everything is coming together. I feel peace within your nuclear family. I feel tests are over. You proved to everyone, to yourself first and foremost, that you are strong enough, capable enough, that you are worthy of rain, that you deserve that, whatever that is. Whatever is your empire or kingdom, queendom, right? And you have been creating all those hoops yourself to show you that you're worthy of it. Because when you started, you thought you're not worthy of that. That you're not good enough, not talented enough, or it would never happen to you because it never happened before and so on and so forth. I feel that is where, where you started. And this is why you needed those hoops it's not that the universe was cruel. 
was testing you and putting blocks and delays. No, no, no. Through this, through this obstacles, you challenged yourself to do the alchemy. Let's say an obstacle. There is a disappointment. What did you do? You burned the disappointment, right? You burned all that, all those emotions. You felt it. You released that. You, you completed the alchemy. And with every step, with every hoop, with every process of alchemy, you created within more and more self-worth, showing yourself that, yes, you are worthy. You can do that. You deserve that, that you're strong enough. You see, so those hoops haven't been obstacles to keep this wish away from you. No, those obstacles have been for you, for you to understand that you're worthy of it, that you can reign, that you deserve that. Those obstacles and delays have been working for you, for you to have it, for you to receive it and keep it and expand it. Wow. And this is your cosmic offer, guys. If you like this message, please do consider to hit the like button. Let's claim this wonderful, wonderful energy with a bouquet emoji in the comments, right? To claim this medicine, to claim this power, to claim this wonderful unfolding, to claim your reign. And my darlings, please do consider to subscribe. You're very welcome within the space for the private guidance. You can find all the info in the description. Please do share if you think that someone might benefit from this reading. And don't forget about the bell button so you will not lose me on your feet. I will link all decks I used today in the description. And if you are interested in love readings, I do have my first channel dedicated to two love themes link would be within the description as well so i'm so happy for you that's such a wonderful reading guys and congratulate you may you always be blessed let me know what do you think about this if it fits if it doesn't let me know right i do send you lots of love bye